we need to determine the function from the given graph. So when you look at a graph like this, this graph will be either for sine function or cosine function. Now usually we try, if we see any intercept on y, where you see the symmetry, then we go with the cosine function. If it passes through the origin and we see the origin symmetry, then we use sine function. So in this case, we prefer cosine function because we have y-intercept, non-zero number. Now, how to start? In the graph, you see that we are thinking that this is a cosine function. But cosine function should go like this here, but it is upside down. That means you have a reflection. So then your A will be negative, and you can see the amplitude here. This is the length. Y length is 4, so your A is negative 4. So we are now looking for the period. Now period always will be from one vertex in here to this one. So this one, if you measure, you see that this is 14 because halfway it is going seven here. So this whole length is 14. So your period is 14 for this. So what should we write? So you write 14 equals two pi over b. Now if you simplify, you get your b equals 2 pi over 14, which is pi over 7. So we got our b equals pi over 7. So you see we have negative 4 cosine pi x over 7. And fix the window according to this. We have negative 21 to 21 for x window. And then y window goes from negative 4 to 5. So I put like this according to this graph. And then we graph it see exact matching with this so we are done if you want you can make from sine function also in that case this original sine function will go from here and then it has some horizontal shift in this unit so that will give you c so you can write this one in terms of sine x as well but if you can determine that it goes direct with cosine function that will be the best choice you have less work i hope it will work